Here's problem 25. It says an equilateral triangle, now that means it's 60, 60, and 60, is folded in half. So what is x, the height of the equilateral triangle? Well, if it's folded in half, let's look at this picture here. We know that's 90. That corner hadn't changed, so that's 60. And we know up here then is 30. So we're looking at a 30, 60, 90. And we're supposed to remember facts from that. Now please note that if we fold it in half and that was 14, makes this short side 7. The short side is across from the 30. Now if you remember, what happens is this short side, everything's based off of it. The hypotenuse is twice as big, meaning that hypotenuse would be 14. Now we already know that because of the simple fact if you come back to the 60, 60, 60, all sides are the same, so all those sides are 14 anyway. But what we remember is everything's based off the short side. Hypotenuse is twice as big. The long side is root 3 times as big. So this guy is that 7 times square root of 3, which is option number C. They're having you work doing a 30, 60, 90 triangle, but not giving you the exact picture, making you, hey, know that you have to break that in half to get 7, and noticing that it's 90, 60, and 30, a 30, 60, 90. Problem number 25 there, pretty easy.